All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you everything you need to know about the bank update in South London 2. All right, let's get it. So from Spawn over here, you know, you see car dealership, uh, you got a sports shop over there. All right, let's see if we can uh, walk over there without getting killed. It doesn't seem like it, nope. All right, L man, WRK. All right, sick, 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 sick. We back, we back, we back. All right, so the bank that's been updated, it is by Ultimate Drip. Now, if you don't know where Ultimate Drip is, check out our video on the clothing stores, but it's pretty much over here. It's right past apartment two. They got the Tesco, the new London, all that. Then we'll come over to the bank and let's see if it's open right now. Looks like it's open. You do need a gun to be able to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a Mac. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna walk into the bank. Huh? Bank teller. Yeet. Okay, and now you'll see, it'll put up this, this uh, alert for everyone that I'm robbing the bank now. He's gonna go hide, we're gonna go hop around here. And then you just gotta press E on the safe here. You get this little nice little animation. Boom. And I got 547 pounds. Now the payout amount, it does vary. Each time that you do it, it's gonna be something a little bit different. And watch out because people will RK. Bro has L aim. I'm gonna get my get back. Psych! You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Dude, this 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 game is so toxic, bro. <laughs> I hate this game. Alright, so back to what I was saying before I got arcade. The payouts are random. I've seen some people say 200. I've seen some people say all the way up to like 800, 900. I do think the double money pass does affect that. So if you don't have the double money pass, I think you can look for somewhere between, I don't know, like 200 to 400 or so. And then if you do have it, probably somewhere from 400 to 800, somewhere around that. So I'm gonna go over my thoughts of the update. So overall, I think the update is pretty nice. Like it's good that the, you know, the devs are, you know, they're putting in that work. They're, they're giving us updates that we've been asking for. It's a, it's a decent little way to make money. I'll probably do a little update video on that. So make sure you subscribe and have post notifications turned on. But overall, like I think it's a good start. It's a good start. Now, one thing that I think they could do better or two things is there's another bank over here, but you can't do anything with it. Like open this bank up for robbery too to spread it out a little bit more so people aren't just camping around Ultimate Drip because it gets real toxic. Um, cause I do think the bank, it's, it's good for, uh, for RP, for the RP community in SL2, which, uh, is severely lacking. I mean, you can hear it in the background. I'm sure not a single word is being said. They're just shooting at random people. So if they can spread it out, so it's not just like a big RK zone. The other thing that I think would be helpful is add more safes. Like I feel like there should be like three to four safes in each of the bank locations. That way you can, you know, get together with, uh, you know, with your gang, with your, you know, your, your friends and you can rob it together. And it's not just one person that gets to keep it, but overall it's a W update. All right. So someone's robbing the bank right now. And this is what a lot of people do. And this is why I think it's a little bit toxic. <laughs> and another reason why I think they should introduce two banks, at least two banks, maybe open up the, the gas station or something like that, just to spread it out a little bit more. So you get less, uh, less little, you know, camp action. Make sure you check out the video on the screen now for some more good Roblox content.